Hare Krishna. Welcome you all uh, for our Eagle Cool Sessions. And today is uh, Tuesday. We have uh, there is a story session. And as we are continuing, we'll have our Mahabharat uh, discussion. So let us all begin with the prayers. Om Adnyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Micro USB cable mode. Shri Chaitanya Sagrajaitam Sahagana Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Vitam Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya De Shatarine Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratvishe Namaha E Krishna Karuna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tattakan Janagaura Angiradhe Vrinda Vaneshwari Vrishabhano Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha kalpa taru bhyasa kripa sindhu pyae vacha pati tana bhavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo nama Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadigaura Bhaktavanda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. So, uh, we congratulate all of you, many of you are attending so consistently for our daily sessions. <laughs> so, daily we give, uh, right? something uh, related to Krishna, our mind will be equipped, right? And generally stories or some nice uh, uh, episodes, they help us immediately to capture our attention. So that's what Lord comes again and again and perform wonderful activities. And not only he comes, but he brings many, many of his devotees also along with him. And that's what we, we find Ramayana, Mahabharata is filled with such amazing characters both good and bad also. <laughs> and we can learn great wisdom for all of our lives. So let us uh, study this uh, series, what we are continuing on every Tuesday, uh, learning about Mahabharat characters, the episodes of Mahabharat. So anyone remember last time, last week, where we stopped? Where, what was going on in the last? Prabhuji, Prabhuji's Ambika's mistake. Ambika's mistake? Yeah. Prabhuji. Know, something more also after that we did. Just a minute. I will try to put it here. Proper fashion so that you all can see. Yeah. Is it visible? Uh, whether my screen is visible, right? So I will just uh, open that. So uh, as we as we studied in the last uh, three meetings of our Mahabharat discussions. So uh, Shantanu Maharaj and uh, what is his wife's name? Anyone remember? Shantanu. Ganga and Satyavati. Ah, Satyavati. <laughs> and then uh, three sons were born. Who are these three sons? Two sons and then one was other son. Who, who are these three? Prabhuji, Chitrangatan, Vichitra Vidya and from Parashra and Satyavati Vyasa. That's great. Jashit Prabhu. <laughs> Today's session you just observe. Then we can add afterwards. Yeah. Where other devotees can speak. Yeah. Correct. 
ಸತ್ಯವತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಾಂತನು ರಾಜ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಚಿತ್ರ ಚಿತ್ರಾಂಗದ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿಚಿತ್ರ ವೀಡಿಯಾ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ದೇ ಡೈ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಭೀಮಾ ವಾಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಡಲ್ ಸನ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಹರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಅ ವಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ನಾಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾರಿ ದೆನ್ ಶಿ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಸ ದೆನ್ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅಂಬಿಕಾ ಹಿ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಧೃತರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಥ್ರೂ ಅಂಬಾಲಿಕಾ ಹಿ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡು ರೈಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಧೃತರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ and pandu was not so he was a pale right he was also heroic but then pale because ambalika was also in, in a fearful situation right and then mother uh, satyavati again calls for vasa and says now this time you can go to ambika and then uh, surely uh, something will uh, come out nicely good son will come out <clears throat> right and that's what now uh, he, she she uh, ambika gets ready but then she was not uh, happy to have vasa <laughs> then what she does this time she uh, changes she went to maid servant who was an intimate friend and asked that she take her place are you all able to see the screen here i have highlighted that portion hmm? is it visible hare krishna yeah yes prabhuji yes so right ambika ambalika both got the sons but then because vasudev was yeah. not- as they was not so good looking so but then satyavati wanted a good son so as they again comes to ambika but then this time ambika was uh, was not ambika did not wanted then she uh, invites maid servant she went to maid servant who was an intimate friend and asked that she take her place they, they exchange giving the servants her own ornaments adorings her the same dress what she was wearing she made a servant to decorate like that and she sat in her room and ambika left she had her wait in a bed chamber for the sage although he knew everything the rishi entered the chamber as before <laughs> so ambika was thinking i uh, i can i can escape and all but vasa was knowing everything what is happening <laughs> as soon as she saw the exalted sage the maid servant rose up respectfully so she was in awe and reverence she was in a full uh, uh, respectful attitude she bowed at his feet and had him to sit down comfortably after gently washing his feet the girl offered him many kinds of delicious food stuffs so you, you are able to understand she she welcomed the sage very nicely with the all respectful attitude and after gently washing his feet the yeah, vasudev was pleased after laying with the girl he said oh good nature uh, nature girl you shall be a maid servant no longer your son from our union will be wise fortunate and the foremost of all intelligent men upon this earth <laughs> right so here it comes as something interesting ambika but here the keep on you five up bro but then here uh, she, right through maid servant he is going to get a very great son so let us see who was that after again satyavati was waiting outside the bed chamber as they were told her the queen uh, deceived me and sent instead her maid servant that simple girl received me with all respect she will therefore be her an auspicious child oh mother i shall now go and continue my asceticism i will return when you need me again <laughs> so now he he narrates for it but i will not beget any more children you know <laughs> right was the vanished living bishma and satyavati reflecting on his words so the maid servant gave birth to a child named vidur how many of you heard about vidur very famous character so that's what the three brothers dhritarashtra yeah and yeah prabhu dhritarashtra pandu and vidur dhritarashtra pandu and vidur correct so that's what the three birth happened of the three sons prabhu ji here an incarnation of yama Uh, yes yes that will come that will come <laughs> who later became the chief minister an advisor of the kuru house so here another interesting lesson comes last week also we discussed right what is a mindset of a, a mother and father like that the child is begotten so Amb- ambalika uh, ambika closed her eyes and she was in a confused state so dhritarashtra was born who was also blind <laughs> ambalika was confused and quite of quite of a depressed state pandu was born with having a conditions similarly <laughs> but here this maid servant knowing that the sage has come 
she received very nicely with all respectful attitude and all and that's what the great child born through that so that is vidura so and then because of the his uh, well uh, intelligence and all he was a chief minister and advisor for the kuru house he was raised alongside his two brothers and the three boys grew up like a, a resplendent gods means very shining personalities <laughs> everyone was satisfied that the kingdom was secure so what is meaning by kingdom was secure anyone understood everyone was okay. yeah just wait just it through just wait <laughs> everyone was satisfied that the kingdom was secure what is meaning of kingdom was secure anyone else can speak what, what does it yeah. mean yeah bro he is a secure yeah bro because means a uh, uh, means uh, good and strong king like like this uh, pandu and means there was a good mentor to who, who was vidur so means due to means both of them the kingdom was secure from yeah correct that is also there the main reason here it is said king was kingdom was secure uh, of course the sons they got because before there were nobody no heir right correct so there was no heir in the dynasty there is nobody to continue now they got the three sons so that the kingdom will continue nicely yeah. and of course as our wish was mentioned they are the powerful kings that's what now it was protected hmm? happiness and prosperity were everywhere as the god showered their blessings on the kingdom bhishma ruled as a regent while the boys grew up although dhritarashtra was the eldest his blindness disqualified him from becoming the king because he was a blind he cannot stand on the position of a king nor could vidur assume the throne as he was born of a servant girl because vidur was a dasi putra so he was also not given a throne but pandu was a worthy monarch in every way and when he became he came of age he was installed on the kuru throne pandu excelled all men in archery and he soon became skilled in the vedic science of leadership and diplomacy so as a king he was perfectly fit so that's what all three brothers were given the best education and were raised with affection by bhishma so bhishma is like what relation for them anyone understood bhishma was in ha oh, ji huh? oh, uncle ha ah, uncle but like, like a fatherly figure for them yeah uncle because they Hello? father directly but yeah like a fatherly figure yeah as per oh, yeah, what as per yeah. what jashit probably continue project i will i will say say at the end as predicted by vyasadev dhritarashtra displayed immense bodily strength and vidur was naturally wise even from childhood his devotion to religion and morality could not be matched by anyone so he was completely devoted to dharma and he was completely standing on the values so this is another interesting principle hmm? we have to also check in all of our lives also now this is a foundational age all of us were in the like most of you are in the school age now now what kind of practice we form in our life that will become our future so now we learn the habit of honesty truthfulness hmm? cleanliness hmm? and uh, uh, dealing with respectfully with everyone hmm? doing our studies doing our chanting every day surely then this will shape up our good future but now if we become lazy now we lie <laughs> we don't follow our parents and things and all then naturally then future it will become very difficult because of our attitude so that's what vidura was so wisely from childhood only he was been very nicely with the devotion to religion and morality so that's what he was a great when he reached maturity even the learned bhishma could seek his counsel so bhishma also used to discuss with him for the good advice it was thus that one day bhishma approached vidur and said o oh, wise one we could take steps to ensure that our noble line does not again face extinction noble line means what you all are understanding here what is written by him? our noble line does not okay. Uh, the dynasty. dynasty the dynasty again it should not create a problem the two princes are ready for marriage i have heard that there are three princesses worthy of being a light to our house tell me your thoughts on this o vidur so now the marriage of these three sons <laughs> dhritarashtra vidur and pandu let's see bhishma said that there was a princess in the yadu house named kunti another named gandhari 
who was the daughter of the mountain king Suvala and a third princess named Madri in Madra. He suggested that the two of these girls could be sought for Pandu and the other for Dhritarashtra. So that's what these three girls, they had been spotted and then they, they were looking for a marriage. Vidur folded his hands and replied, my lord, you are our father. To whom he's telling you are our father? Yeah, you are our father, you are our protector and preceptor. You should do whatever you feel is proper for the well dynasty. Prabhuji, yeah. Prabhuji, who is the last princess? Prabhuji? Madri, Madri. Okay, Madri. Her name is Madri. So, ja, okay, I think this is her voices. He's got discharged. Okay. So let's see. Okay, I, I, I'll go on speaking because some of all of your responses in the chat, all of you can write. Okay, your speaker, some problem is there. You can write in the chats your question, comments, whatever you want to add. Okay. So now let's see. Bhishma paced up and down in uh, his palace, uh, palace chamber. He had heard that Gandhari had received a boon from Shiva, who had said she would have one hundred sons. Surely she would make a good wife for Dhritarashtra, who had also been blessed in a similar way by Vasudev. <laughs> All of you remember, right? Vasa had told the great, uh, the great child will be there. He will beget a hundred sons, but only problem was blind. So Gandhari was also Bhishma was knowing that she had got a boon from Shiva that she will also have a hundred sons. So then Bhishma thought Gandhari will become a best match for Dhritarashtra. A hundred sons from that powerful prince would be a great asset to the kingdom and would ensure the perpetuation of the Kuru dynasty. Bhishma at once arranged for the messengers to go to Suvala and ask for the hand of Gandhari. When the king Suvala heard Bhishma's request, he was hesitant. What was the reason of his hesitance? <laughs> yeah, because the Dhritarashtra is blind. How could his daughter marry a blind prince? But Suala reflected on the possibility. Dhritarashtra belonged to the glorious Kuru house. They had ruled the world for thousands of years. They are the kings of the entire planet that time, Kuru dynasty. Considering the fame, nobility and virtue of the Kurus, Suala assented to the marriage. So finally he thought, okay, fine. For my girl, it will be good because she will belong to the good house, good community. He had his son Shakuni bring Gandhari to Hastinapur. When the princess heard that yes. she was to be, uh, she was her own eyes, not wanting. Guruji, yeah. Guruji, excuse me. Yes, yes. The sound is not coming, Guruji. Oh really? Now, now is it coming? Now you are unable to hear. Yes, Guruji. Yes. Now it's it's very it's coming. Coming. Before it was coming a little bit louder, Prabhuji, but uh, now it reduced Prabhuji's voice a little bit. Now, now you check, guys. Somehow I think the speaker uh, just a minute. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Okay, now it's fine, now it's fine. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Hare. Coming nice? Okay, fine. Yeah. Yes, 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 Guruji. It's coming again. Yeah, yes. So this was a case. So this is another interesting uh, principle, which God knows nowadays whether such character is visible or not. Uh, are you, uh, uh, have you all observed the thing here? What the uh, our uh, mother Gandhar is uh, taking a step. She is going to get married to Dhritarashtra. She did not bother. She did not even cared. Also, I mean. Uh, yeah, oh, how can my husband is blind? How can I go and marry him and all? <laughs> she did not marry. The moment she got to know that my husband is going to be blind, she also thought, how can I keep my eyes? So she kept a cloth strip and blinded herself also, not wanting to be in any way superior to her Lord. So, right? So that's what the marriage means. What? This is another interesting principle to note. Hmm? Yeah. So, uh, See, uh, I may not be able to hear your sound, but yeah, you can please write in a chat any concern, okay? Your external speaker is dead again. I hope you all are able to hear me. Is it visible? Uh, is it audible? Can you write in the yes, chat? Prabhuji. Is it yes, coming? Audible? Yes, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama. Okay. 
yeah okay fine yeah thank you so here very very important principle to take a note hmm? so the marriage principle between a, a girl and a boy husband and a wife <laughs> nowadays uh, unfortunately people they see on the wealth people they see on the how much uh, riches and a position and post that's also needed so that the girl can go in a nice way can have a safe and security in the future for her but most important marriage is to be done with the character not to the externals but to the character of the person and then a wife should be chaste husband should be husband should be devoted so this this combination will bring out very wonderful dynasties wonderful children so gandhari was so chaste lady that's what she is counted one among the chaste ladies also <laughs> mother sita even mandodari is also counted one among the chaste lady towards ravana <laughs> so then the wife maintains the good chastity then that purity will bring the good souls to be taken up birth so of course gandhari's case something different happened but the point is uh, her power of chastity was even appreciated by supreme lord also which later we will study how her power was so strong her chastity power was so strong <laughs> so this is another interesting principle so gandhari did not bothered much so uh, the relationship how we are keeping sometime even in a school also all of you we keep our friends and all right so do we keep a friend because he is a very rich friend he is very good looking friend or do we keep a friend keeping uh, his values oh he is a very good honest truthful devoted so it doesn't matter whether he is a black whether he has some only one eye or some problem on the face or hands and all but because he has a good habits because he has a good character let me keep the friendship with him whereas somebody might be very good looking having a lot of money having a lot of things for him but then uh, if he doesn't have a good habits he is a proud he is a lying he is a cheating right he is a dishonest then which friend you will keep first one or second one yeah. what is your choice write in the chat which which friend you will keep the first one who is not good looking but he has a good values he is a good person good character the second one he is good looking very handsome very rich but somehow uh, he doesn't have a good habits yeah <laughs> so that's what we have to uh, observe the world with the right attitude most of the cases yeah thank you all if you are writing first one <laughs> yes correct so most of the things in the world they go on the externals hmm? they they show the car they show the products very attractive looks but whether it is really substantial that we have to see based on the its usage its needs and its values all those things hmm? so here we find very interesting episode of mother gandhari hmm? Shakuni gave away his beautiful sister to Dhritarashtra along with the many gifts sent by Suvala. So marriage successfully happened. After being uh, duly respected by Bhishma, he then mounted his golden chariot and returned to his kingdom. So uh, can someone say uh, any friendship example in the scripture which was not of a equal stature it was a different stature. But they had a thick friendship with each other. Mr. Sudama, they did not bother down the external. Can someone write some examples? Very famous examples. U.S. Yeah, you can try to speak also. Yes, which example? Anyone? Very famous. Ah, uh, huh, yes, Jashit Pro is writing. Yeah. Yeah, Excuse me, Guruji. Yes, yes, yes. Guru ji, the sound is not coming. Guru ji, in middle, middle, it is tucking, or the voice is not coming. No, yeah, okay, okay. I think when I switch on here, it goes off. Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's switch off. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. I think fine. I I think there is a problem today. I can hear. I can. I have to hear all of your chats, <laughs> and all of you hear my sound here. That we only go no issue. Yeah, correct. So I was asking about the example of uh, friendships where they are not of a equal stature, but they kept a friendship. That's a Krishna and Sudama famous episode. Yeah, correct. Even Krishna when he comes, we read in a Krishna book, right? He goes to meet in a uh, which city it is? Uh, Mithila city. He goes and meets the two two personalities. Where one was a rich and one was a poor. Anyone remember their names? <laughs> in Krishna book we read. But Krishna goes both of their house. He 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 makes a duplicate himself, and one one Krishna goes to his house, another Krishna goes to his house. 
because Brahma both of them they wanted to welcome okay, Brahma we only la Mithila city Krishna goes anyone remember who are these two characters one was a king okay, it, and one was, was a poor brahmin but a then Krishna both devotee. of them they welcome Krishna anyone knows so <laughs> the king yeah. and the devotee you can raise your hands at least who remember that episode reading you can write in the chat otherwise names ah uh, yes <clears throat> yeah their name was uh, shrutadev and bahulashwa okay king shrutadev and the sage bahulashwa these names anyway point is what the lord is ready to reciprocate it's not based on the externals lord sees our intention lord sees our attitude so same way we should also knowing that what are the how the people are what is their values habits characters that should be the center of our relationship how much they are devoted to the god not that just because externally they are very uh, charismatic and that's what we make the relationship <laughs> then later we will only get cheated so this is very important point so finally marriage happened uh, after being duly respected by bhishma he then mounted his golden chariot and returned to his kingdom gandhari became immediately devoted to her husband she pleased him in every way by her attentions she never even referred to the other men in her speech and her eyes were always covered by the cloth <laughs> so this is a culture actually woman will always keep her face covered she will even not show the face to other men she will not take the name of also other men or see to towards other men except her husband right so such pure character of the woman is kept then naturally the good children will be born nowadays we see unfortunately modern culture is going on in that way so that's what uh, society we see so many problems but here we can see how beautiful is being described about mother gandhari with dhritarashtra mary bhishma turn is mind to pandu's marriage he had heard that the princess kunti would soon select a husband at a special ceremony known as swayamvara that princess was famous for her beauty and womanly qualifications and she belonged to the noble yadures bhishma told pandu to leave at once for the swayamvara and try to win kunti's hand <laughs> so this is swayamvara hmm? all of you please write which all swayamvara as you remember we read many many episodes of swayamvara uh, we read in the various episodes in the past various episodes we read swayamvara takes place for a marriage hmm. the kshatriya marriage yeah in krishna book also we read correct mother sita vaibha prays writing hari bol <laughs> like satya yes lakshma samba hmm. even arjuna also pandu's son will be there he will go for drought to this marriage so like that many swayamvara so this is a kshatriya kind of a marriage okay the king mounted a great dark stallion and rode swiftly to the southern kingdom of kunti bhoj the father of kunti like a proud lion he strode into the swayamvara arena hmm. like a great uh, a uh, hero he entered <laughs> like you know mother uh, rukmini also krishna also that was not a swayamvara but krishna kidnapped mother rukmini like a hero entering lion among the jackals <laughs> their prabhupada writes now when the many other kings assembled there saw pandu broad chested and with the eyes like a furious bull they considered him to be a second indra this was so effulgent so impressive he outshone all other monarchs like the sun rising in the morning and obscuring the stars when kunti saw the powerful hastinapur monarch gazing at her her mind became agitated trembling with emotion she walked slowly toward him and shyly placed the nuptial garland around his neck so she selected her as him as her husband although there were many kings and princes desirous of kunti's hand and although swayamvara would almost always end up in a fight the kings abandoned any thought of competing with the mighty pandu of the princess <laughs> so they did not uh, took any uh, revenge also mounting upon their streets and chariots they simply returned their way they had come king kunti bhoja came down for from the royal platform into the arena his face bright with the delight there could be no better match for his daughter the king immediately arranged for the wedding ceremony and he presented the pandu with the gifts of a great wealth so these are the two marriages over today the third marriage and the the details of these episodes will continue in the next tuesday reading hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 so many nice uh, details we get to know from this all of you some of you might be knowing that we know already those things 
but point is we learn the culture we learn the good uh, uh, family uh, what is it the dealings and how we stay so competence means our academics should be the best like a heroic the kings were heroic like that we should do our best with our academics our studies what are best efforts we should put in and then competence second is a character we should put have a good behavior good uh, respectful attitudes and all those and then third is a culture competence character and culture this 3c this 3c's will make our life successful <laughs> so character and competence will come together when we have a good culture and that's what when we read this great, uh, great episode from ramayana mahabharata we get to uh, learn about these amazing principles for all of our lives and that's why for this kalyuga uh, it's now very difficult to go back to the vedic culture and do our time is short but if we chant every day hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama ram ram hare hare hmm? every day we do the meditation for uh, 15 minutes 20 minutes or half an hour whatever best time hmm? surely automatically all good qualities will come in all of our life because we connect with krishna hmm? so try to chant daily thank you all very much for joining we we'll end with vaishnava pranam vancha kalpatarubhyasya kripa sindhu bhayavacha श्रीलप्रभुपाद हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू वेरी मच